Good, good morning. Good morning and welcome to the 91st Street All School Mass. Today, we are celebrating the feast day of our foundress, St. Madeline Sophie. Sophie, as she was called, was born in France in 1779 on a cold December night amidst a house fire. She had an older brother who would be her greatest influence and whom she adored. Even though she grew up almost 250 years ago, Sophie's ideas and ideals were of a modern approach and are as relevant today as they were then. Inspire others, be kind, and treat every individual as a unique being. Madeline Sophie was tireless in her devotion to God and to giving love to others. She was educated beyond the norms of her peers and when she was just 20, she committed herself to a life of serving others, recognizing that by doing so, she would make a difference. Over her lifetime, she would open the doors to over 150 Sacred Heart Schools, which brings us all here today. Each and every one of you is a beneficiary of Sophie's commitment and dedication to her lifelong passion of inspiring young women. You are each a child of the Sacred Heart. In choosing a school for my own daughters 25 years ago, it was clear when I walked through the doors of 91st Street that I had found not only a school where my girls would learn and grow, but an environment that was dedicated to empowering young women to change the world for the better. A school whose mission was based on five goals and criteria. Simply put, have faith, work hard, give back, be kind to others, and always make good choices, the rules of life. Over the last decade and a half as a member of the admissions team, I have been privileged to witness every day the same devotion and unwavering commitment from your teachers that St. Madeline Sophie devoted her life to, a faculty and staff who work tirelessly to support each and every one of you and keep you safe. As we enter into summer vacation, remember to thank them and your parents for the gift of a Sacred Heart education. And finally, seniors, as you prepare to leave 91st Street as students, for the last time, I hope you will take our foundress's advice, repeated often by Dr. Changalini. Be kind, be kind, and be kind, and always follow the rules of life. Thank you. Please stand as we sing together. See, she stands, St. Madeline Sophie.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. So to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let's open our hearts to Christ, who's always present when we gather like this to celebrate the Eucharist, that he might touch our hearts, that he might guide us, and he might also heal whatever needs to be healed within each one of us. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, 
you wonderfully graced St. Madeline Sophie with humility and steadfast love drawn from the heart of Jesus, your Son. We pray that, following in her footsteps, we may live in close union with the heart of Jesus and find him in our joy, both now and in eternity. We ask this through Christ, who is our risen Lord, now and forever. Amen. So please be seated for the scriptures. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wisdom proudly sings her own praises. Before her own people, she proclaims her glory. I spread out my branches like a great tree, my branches so bright and graceful. I bud forth delights like the vine. My blossoms become fruit fair and rich. Come to me, all who yearn for me, and be filled with my fruits. You will remember me as sweeter than honey, better to have than the honeycomb. Those who eat of me will hunger still. Those who drink of me will thirst for more. Those who obey me will not be put to shame. Those who serve me will never fail. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Spirit seeking light and beauty, heart at longest for thy rest, so that asketh understanding, only thus can he be blessed. Through the vastness of creation, though your restless thought may roam, God is all that you can long for. God is all his creatures home. Taste and see him, feel and hear him, hope and grasp his unseen hand. Though the darkness seem to hide him, faith and love can understand. God who lovest all thy creatures, all our hearts are known to thee. Lead us through the land of shadows to thy blessed eternity. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. You are God's chosen ones, holy and beloved. So put on heart compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with one another. If one of you has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Over all these, put on love that is the bond of perfection. Let the peace of Christ control your hearts the peace into which you were called. Be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and inspired songs with gratitude in your hearts. Whatever you do in word or deed, do in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia.
Commandment says the Lord, love one another as I have loved you. From the Holy Gospel according to John. <clears throat> Jesus said to his disciples, <clears throat> I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit, because without me, you can do nothing. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified when you bear much fruit and become my disciples. And as the Father loves me, so I love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. So please be seated for a moment. So this is the second day I get to see all of you. It's quite exciting. Right? It's been a long time since we've been together like this. So that's part of our thanksgiving today. Thank God that we're back together again and that we're all healthy and working together. As we celebrate this Feast of St. Madeline Sophie, I think the, the gospel reading is so appropriate. I am the vine, you are the branches. Right? That was certainly a motto that she had in her heart. And I want to talk a little bit about the dynamic between, behind that. I am the vine, you are the branches. What's the dynamic? What's going on there in us and in Madeline Sophie uh, as she lived her life? I think part of it, or a good deal of it, can be expressed in that second reading that we heard today. It's a very practical, down-to-earth instruction by St. Paul. Right, he's talking to a community and he's telling them how they can be the vine and Jesus can be, uh, they can, Jesus can be the vine and they can be the branches. Right? That he's telling them how to do that without using those words. But that's exactly what he's doing. And he says this to start off with, let the peace of Christ dwell in your hearts. Let the peace of Christ dwell in your hearts. The peace to which you were called. When Jesus talks about giving peace at the Last Supper, he warns his disciples and he says, the peace I'm giving you is not the peace that you're trying to accomplish in the world. It's not the same. Because he knows they're struggling with peace in the world. And he knows that. 
So he tells them it's different. Right? If you're all uh, uh, suffering, if you're uh, working through all kinds of things as a world community or as a nation or whatever it might be, and you're struggling and it's painful and it's in upheaval, don't worry, my peace can still be with you. Right? My peace is deeper than that. So he's warning them, don't let that, you know, when the world is, is struggling around you, don't think you don't have my peace. Focus on the peace you have in your hearts. And this is some of the things to do, St. Paul says, uh, to nurture that peace, to keep it moving in our hearts. Right? There's some preliminary work, right? just an ordinary way of looking at things. Bear with one another. Put up with all the, whatever we have to put up with. Bear with one another. Sometimes you're going to have to be forgiving too. You know, besides just putting up with each other, sometimes you have to forgive what has happened. And that's a good ground rule. But then he adds to it. He says, dress yourself up in a new way. Put on compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience. Right? Let that be your clothing that you put on every day. Use that as the medium for your, uh, your connecting with others. You know, beautiful, it's very simple. Compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience. Keep that wrapped around you right? as you bear with one another and forgive one another. Right? Then he says, let the word of Christ dwell in you. Right? Digest his message. And what's his message today? Love one another as I have loved you. Hang in there. Right? Give of yourself. Right? Uh, all these things, compassion, kindness, humility, that's calling us to reach out to others. Right? It's a call. So when we talk about the vine and the branches, and again, as I said, Madeline and Sophie understood that. Part of that understanding is that you have to, in a way, give up your control. You know, you want to set everything right. You might have good intentions. You want everything to be perfect. But it's not going to be like that. Don't get discouraged, right? Let Christ work through you. You're connected to him as the vine, right? Let him work through you. Let the word, right? Let the word of Christ dwell in you. You're connected to him. Let him do the work. You need to open your heart. Right? And by following those very simple guidelines, you know, uh, right, bear with one another, forgive, compassion, or that very simple way of looking at life, knowing that he's going to work through you and he's going to touch other people through you, right? That is the most important thing for the Christian, right? We're not in charge of the world and what's going on. It, it, it happens. It happens in front of us. But if we allow Christ to be the healer working through us, you know, put ourselves aside, lose our control, let him take over, things will change, right? There'll be more power in the world because love is the most powerful thing there is. And that love will come through you. And everyone can do that. The second grade can do that. The seniors can do that. And all the old people here can do that. Okay? Just always live with that love going through you. Don't be afraid of it. And let it guide you. Don't you try to guide it. So I invite you to stand now. We'll gather our petitions for today. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. St. Madeline Sophie said that the sacred heart of Jesus was her life, her light, and her love. Through her intercession, may each of us experience God's unconditional love. We pray to the Lord, 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all the children of the lower school, and especially those who have received their first Holy Communion and first reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. St. Madeline Sophie prayed that her faith would grow deeper and deeper. Today, let us ask the Holy Spirit to increase our faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the girls in the middle school, and especially for those who received the sacrament of confirmation this year, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. St. Madeline Sophie had confidence that the heart of Jesus would lead her through any challenges that might come her way. Let us pray that we may be given the courage we need to face our challenges with patience and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the young women in the upper school, and especially the graduating class of 2022, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. St. Madeline Sophie taught that the guiding spirit of the congregation of the Sacred Heart was love. As we continue the task of expanding our knowledge and committing ourselves to the building of community, may we deepen our love of God and our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the administration, teachers, and staff, at the Convent of the Sacred Heart. May God bless each of them in the work they have chosen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Ukraine, for those who have died, for those who are resisting, and for those who have been displaced, may healing and peace soon come to their country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the victims of gun violence, especially in Uvalde, Texas, Buffalo, New York, Laguna Woods, California, and Dallas, Texas, may they experience God's peace and may their families find comfort, justice, and hopeful assurance that our society may recommit to the safety of children and an end to racist narratives that perpetuate violence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. So Heavenly Father, we lift up all our prayers to you today. Bless us and every day of our lives. And we make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. So please be seated. And in time 
And now we pray that our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all the church. Lord, look graciously on our prayers and offerings, <clears throat> and as you accepted the faithful worship of St. Madeline Sophie, so accept these signs of our obedient hearts, which we present in praise of your name. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who cons consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of, ki of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call us back to our original holiness so that we may experience on earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy. Indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant it will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink, this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ, be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all 
and make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Please stand now and we'll pray together the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil grant peace in our day, that by the help of your loving care, we may always be free from sin and safe from all anxiety as we await the coming of your kingdom. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with all of you. So let's share now Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we, called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul will be healed. Please be seated. The 
during communion, we will sing, pass it on. It only takes a spark to get so, a fire going. The middle aisle, let me be the second one. So we continue singing, I want and to God walk as a child of the light. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. And God bless you today. And God bless you today. The body of Christ. The body of... Okay. The body... Oops. God bless you today. I want to God bless you today. And God bless you today. God bless you today. And God bless you today, okay? And God bless you today. The body of Christ. Light to the body of Christ. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. To see the, the brightness of the God, of I the want body of Christ. to look the body of Christ. at Jesus. 
us. Clear the sun of righteousness shine on my path and show me the way to the We've heard this many times over the last couple of months. It is so good to have everybody back together again. And for many in this church, it's the first time that we've gathered for this Mass in more than two years. A little history, a little imagination, and a lot of hope. First, history. As Mrs. Mullen mentioned at the beginning, Madeline Sophie Barra is often referred to as the child of fire. She earned that, that name because, as Mrs. Mullen mentioned, she was born while the, the family's home was burning down around her. And as a young girl, the age of the students here in, this, this, uh, in, in our school, she lived through the reign of terror. It was a time of great social and political unrest. Trust in each other was at a low point. There was violence in the streets, and there was plague in the air. And because of these experiences, Madeline Sophie and many others of her time are remembered as chi children of fire. 200 years later, there's great political and social unrest. There's violence in the streets. There's plague in the air. 
And sadly, history may remember our young as children under fire. A bit of imagination. I ask you for a moment to use your imagination and imagine Madeline Sophie as a young girl, as a young woman, like these students. She sat at mass like this and had religious and academic instruction. All the while, she was living through these awful, terrifying times. Imagine her sitting in quiet reverence, asking God for an inspiration, for a sign, how she could understand and correct the great turmoil that surrounded everyone and enveloped everyone in her world. And imagine that over time, she heard in her heart that she could bring reconciliation and peace to the world by a very simple thing, by every day bringing the love of God into the world. And in a special way, she thought, I can do this through the education of young women. Madeline Sophie did not despair. She did not lose hope. She had the will, the courage, and the confidence to create the impossible. And that is us. We're sitting here today, 200 years later, because of her inspiration and her determination to fight the problems of the day. Now a little hope. There is a Madeline Sophie sitting here in this room. She may not be a great religious leader and found a great religious congregation, schools and universities around the world, but she may be a religious. She may be a politician. She may be a doctor, an engineer, an artist, a loving spouse, partner, or parent. Every one of you here today is like Madeline Sophie 200 years ago thinking about how I can make the world better. We have tried to give you the skills to do that. It's up to you now to make the decision to make the world better. You have not only the skills to do that, you actually have the obligation to do that, to work so that the world will be at peace and children will be safe. So as we end the 140th year of Sacred Heart Education, in this city of New York. I ask every member of our community to find a way to be remembered as a child of peace in a world that is troubled. The first steps to being a child of peace are simple, and we repeat them every year. Be kind, be kind, be kind. May God bless each of you and enjoy a safe and restful summer. So now it's time for a very special part of this mass, which is to give our seniors who will be graduating in a matter of days their commemorative Madeline Sophie Barah medals that have been blessed by Father Camus. Um, when I call you, please just stand, line up, and come up fluidly to receive your medal from Dr. Tangalini. And I ask that we all wait until every member has received her medal um, to applaud them. Emily Arts. Isabel Abel. Mahani Adam. Mia Antonini, Lorencia Arengi Bentivoglio, Aliyah Basler, Morgan Brooks, Shea Callanan, Julia Carey, Ivy Carlton. Maria Cristina Serini, Janine Chacha, Elizabeth Corrigan, Cosima de Chimay, Adelaida Davalle, 
Morgan Erdos, Maisie Flatley, Felicia Fogarty, Liani Fortunata Braun, Sandrine Frechette, Abigail Gilly, Kayla Gilly, Inez Goey Di Pianti, Isabel Graham, Taylor Harris, Sophia Hatiangadi, Cameron Heffernan, Emily Kim, Caroline Lasik Tignola, Madeline Lamphier, Grace Lanava, Devin Lee, Grace Lott, Isabel Mahoney, Morgan Main, Gabriella Malik, Lucy McGrath, Veronica Mendez, Claire Morris, Annie Moon, Cheun Oak, Laura O'Sullivan, Layla Demanda Paul, Lucy Preston, Sydney Rankin, Callista Reddington, Lena Sanchez, Caroline Severino, Claire Sheridan, Mina Shimada, Patricia Sotos, Grace Sugru, Kylie Thorpe, Jaden Towie, Summer Wilson, Sarah Wolf, and Selma Zwader. Congratulations and God bless the class of 2022. Another very special tradition that is part of this Mass is to recognize the faculty and staff who, as um, both Mrs. Mullen and Dr. Changalini have said, have really dedicated much of their lives to educating um, our students to St. Madeline Sophie's mission. And so as I recognize adult members of the community um, for their years of service, please come forward to be recognized by Dr. Changalini. For five years of service at 91st Street, Paul Kolf. Christine DeLuca. Larissa Lani. Peter Mazur. Joan McGovern. She can't be here, but Caitlin O'Leary. <laughs> Yaro Pichak. <laughs> Ro 
Lois Wang. For 10 years of service to 91st Street, Alicia Farrell. Chrissy Lee. Tom Lytle. Kieran Piers. For 15 years of service, Rebecca Ashley. Zaida Cruz Bonilla. <laughs> Emanuela Favaro. Patty Lopez. <laughs> and Joseph Changalini. For 20 years, Angel Chavez. John Camus. Rick Rodney. <laughs> Carmen Williams. For 25 years of service, Jane Christofferson. <laughs> Amy Letterman.
Catherine Rowland. and Craig Talker. For 40 years of service to 91st Street, Mary Haling. And this was Dr. Changalini's idea um, for five years of special service to Sacred Heart, Hank Savino. <laughs> okay. So, Lord, hear our prayers for all of us who have gathered for this Eucharist today. Inspired by the example of St. Madeline Sophie, may we continue to grow in union of heart with your Son and bring to all your people the healing power of your love. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for singing so beautifully today. One more song. So proudly we hail thee.
Thank you, guys. Can you have, have a seat, please? Upper school, you can rise, exit through the back, and please walk up Park Avenue if you're going back to school. And please put your programs at the end of the